Hello, I'm Jessica DeZubnar, and welcome back for another edition of Bear in Mind. This week, I caught up with student athlete Ali DeVita, who competed in the World Equestrian Games. For those of you who don't know what WEG is, it's the equivalent of the Olympics for equestrian sports, and this year it was held in the United States for the first time ever. Competing as a gold level vaulter, Ali DeVita has been a national champion in 2008 and 2009. Internationally, she's taken first at two CBI competitions. In the World Equestrian Games, she took second in the freestyle, placing her seventh in the world. Vaulting is most easily described as the art of gymnastics and dance in harmony with a moving horse. I got involved in vaulting because I was always the kid growing up who was doing cartwheels and handstands on every surface imaginable, walking down the street, and I was always really into horses, so I went to a horse camp and I saw the vaulters and they were doing cartwheels and handstands on their horses and I was like, yes, that's, that's what I need to be doing. In order to try out for the World Equestrian Games, you have to go to a certain number of selection trials and basically you get yourself onto a ranking list with each competition and then the top three people from that ranking list get to go to represent the United States. At my level, there are four different um, rounds and the first round is the compulsory round which is seven moves, everyone does the same seven moves, they're very technical. Then you perform your freestyle, which is a one minute routine to music. Then if you make it to the second round after those first two, you get to do a technical test, which is kind of like a mix of the two, where you have five moves that everyone's been given, the same five moves, and then you have to work them into a routine. It's the same, it changes every two years which five moves those are. So you kind of get to put together a good routine, set it to music. A lot of people say that my signature move is the splits, just because it's a move that I've been doing for a while and it's pretty easy for me. I just do the splits and then put my hands I just let go. One of my other favorite moves is a back extension where I'm lying on my back and then I shoot my legs over my head and go into a handstand. So. When my coach first emailed me the song to see if I liked it, uh, I was in the kitchen with my roommate and we heard the song and both of us kind of just started dancing and that's kind of the attitude that I wanted everyone to experience when they heard my routines. Right after I did my first freestyle routine, I got off, I did my dismount, and then came into the middle where my mom was, and she just gave me a huge hug right there in the middle of the arena in front of the judges and everything, just because she was so overwhelmed with how well we had done. So, yeah, I, I'll just always remember that moment. I'd say that the hardest part about um, being a, U a United States vaulter is that a lot of the international competitions are held in Europe, which means that we have to borrow horses. And since the horse obviously is such a huge uh, part of the competition, they receive their own score, sometimes it can be frustrating, but at the same time, I've met so many people through that process. <laughs> next time someone asks you about horse vaulting, you'll be able to tell them what it is. Well, that looks like it's just about all the time we have for today. For Ali DeVita, I'm Jessica DeZubnar. And bear in mind, just because you haven't heard of it, doesn't mean it's not a sport.